Sam Madison's Hot Toast, in its interactive fold-out format, as a summer holiday special, was commended by YCN in 2006. Unique in philosophy and intent, it functions also as stress-free early learning assessment, and was developed through research for the MA Illustration for Children's Publishing, exploring adult-child relationships through humour. When further developed, it was photoed onto disc at YCN's request by the School of Art and Design. Sam's tutor at Newey, now Grundur, Des McCannon, took a copy and said shortly afterwards that her friend at Random House Publishing contacted without Sam's prior knowledge or consent and told of its YCN commendation, thought the comic was lovely. Random House had no history of comic publishing it only became clear later that Miss McCannon had not registered Sam's intellectual property with the university as she should have. Sam's objection was dismissed at the time. This is the Guardian comic, promoting Random House and David Pickling's DFC from October 27. David Pickling Books, then a wholly owned imprint of Random House, worked closely with Philip Dickinson, managing director of children's books, to create DFC as is shown by Random Gets Comical in the bookseller, March 08, and her own letter of December 2012. Commercial director Nigel Waters had no recollection of seeing Hot Toast, but confirmed selling content to The Guardian, where Elizabeth Ribbons claimed any resemblance between Hot Toast and their own in-house originated comic was coincidental. After having been sent the work, their designer remained perplexed. What nobody appeared to understand was that while Hot Toast was researched, designed and costed and marketed to be produced just once a year to go into hundreds of schools, The Guardian was putting out half an unsponsored annual each week, buying in new content every time to promote those selling it that content, a highly expensive free supplement over 18 months. Sam raised her concerns in October 2006 after YCN printed only the covers of the paper submission without any content, but she was ignored. Nick Defty at YCN was and remained uncertain exactly what they'd done with Hot Toast. Only in July 2008, after reporting her letters from The Guardian and Random House, did Head of School Professor Sean Hughes, having called in Miss McCannon and Sam's former fellow student Dan Berry, deny that any contact with Random House or any other publishers had ever taken place, but it had taken a direct and personal approach to Miss McCannon to draw that response. The University was concerned enough to discuss the matter that October with Pro Vice-Chancellor for Intellectual Property, Professor Wilkinson, at a meeting where nobody asked to see this commended work, and of which Sam was not informed. On Miss McCannon's word alone, the University decided there were no grounds for a claim against it but then later sought legal advice in letters released through the Office of the Independent Adjudicator. TV Ryan, not having seen the work either, judged that to allow Hot Toast and the Guardian comic to be compared, and Miss McCannon cross-examined if the matter went to trial, would be unwise, saying if the court believes the similarity between the works is beyond coincidence as a result of communication between Glyndur and Random House, and there is a serious risk of a claim. In fact, the school was perfectly aware that its policy had been compromised. In August 2004, The Guardian had reported Ms McCannon explaining how crucial a close working relationship was in promoting students' work and that the college continued to consolidate its industry links. A proposed MA in Illustration for Children's Publishing, launched in September 2005, was then in preparation, covering character and narrative design in comics and visual storytelling. Random House had recently expressed an interest in helping with aspects of course development. Hot Toast won the first commendation of that MA, yet the university could not locate or return the disc with the board game and those distinctive retro colours which it finally admitted it had, however, briefly retained. In 2012, the university took legal action to dis recover Sam's disputed and withheld tuition fees. District Judge Pates at Crewe County Court heard Sam's unrepresented defence and agreed on balance of probabilities that the university had behaved as she said that she must take her case to a higher court. No one approached has been able, however, to understand the intellectual property and value of work in this format or be bothered with what they dismiss as just a comic or student project. Three days before that hearing, Sam had been diagnosed autistic at 47. 
All her work, including Hot Toast, is recognisably autistic. Dr Linda Buchan at Axia ASD wrote in March 2014 it had the ability to encapsulate the essence of autism. That educational and commercial potential, intended to be further developed within the university, has been blighted by the behaviour of Random House, who misappropriated the work without acknowledgement or payment in any form, and by Glendur, where Professor Hughes continued to extend his so-called effective knowledge transfer conduits with industry, and where Vice-Chancellor Professor Maria Hinfela refuses to consider the matter further. Sami is consequently a woman mentally and emotionally exhausted, who cannot believe the sheer stupidity of all those concerned. Reviewing the work itself and the effort over 10 years to resolve the issue, her MP, Laura Smith, commented just simply, what a waste. Hot toast was designed to be sold, so why did Random House not buy it? When sent the precy of her fictionalized account of the creation and misuse of hot toast called Paper, Scissors, Rock All, the pun-loving David Fickling, keen to read more, signed off in reply, Nick Orr. Claire McGowan, in her dark and complex drama of misidentification, Blackwater, broadcast by BBC Radio 4, wrote, when something looks like a coincidence, 99% of the time it's...